In this video, we're taking a detailed look at the Cavu rope sling. Check out packhacker.com for a written review. We'll leave links in the description below. So we're just gonna kick it off. Like the name suggests, it is a sling and there is some rope. So we're gonna start here because it's one of the unique features about this bag. The, the shoulder strap itself is made with this rope material. It's a cotton rope. It, it kind of looks like climbing rope. Which, which adds to this bag's overall outdoorsy vibe. You know, it's got the rope and it just kind of has an outdoor feel to it. The, the Cavu logo here at the top, has got like the nice little mountain range. And we're digging the aesthetic overall. Also, speaking of branding, thought this uh, Cavu stitch in the back was pretty neat. It's a subtle little pop. You don't really see it when you're wearing it because it's against your back, but you know, when you set the bag down, you'll notice it. Um, back to the strap though. It's also more comfortable than you know we initially thought it would be. It's just a simple rope. There's not much padding, um, but the rope itself is is kind of acts as padding, and it has been pretty comfortable. We've been using it kind of to kick around um, more woodsy areas because it is an outdoor bag. So on like some nature hikes and things like that. Also, just walk around the city, walk the dogs, things of that nature, and it's been pretty comfortable because it is a one shoulder option only, so it, you can't switch shoulders. It really only works if you carry it one way. It can get a little more uncomfortable than a bag where you can easily switch which shoulder you have it on. That's just kind of what happens when you have the strap anchored like this. It also, partially because of the size, isn't super great to wear on the front. So it's really more of just like a, a bag to throw on your back, but it's been working well for that. Couple more things about the strap. If you'll notice down here, there's this bit of an awkward flap, which is you know where the strap anchors to. And, and we found that it kind of helps with the carry. So like when you have the bag on your back, you can, you can see this kind of um, fold around a little bit. And then check out the review, we'll add photos of that in there so you can see what it looks like wearing the bag. But it kind of folds around a little bit and seems like it helps. That seems to be the idea behind it and no complaints there. Some complaints we do have are with the dangliness of this strap. Um, as you can see, there's like tree sap all over this thing because we we're taking it out in the woods and just kind of throwing it around a little bit. But um, it's held up well. It's it's 600D polyester, and you know, apart from some dirt and tree sap and stuff, no no issues. It's been holding up well. Um, but back to the strap. So the way it kind of it does have a strap keeper but it doesn't work great. So you can see this little elastic loop um, at the bottom, and, and the way that works is you fold it up, or roll it up, rather. So you roll up the strap and then just kind of like pop this elastic around it. And you know, it does keep the strap managed-ish, but something that happens is if you have this, this roll cinched really tight, which is how we liked it, so you know, it was rolled all the way up so there was not much dangling, you can't really adjust this strap. So it's only, a, you, you can only pull it out and then it stops and, and hits the end. So we'll just show you real quick. And it just makes taking the bag off a little more difficult if you don't wanna unbuckle it. Of course, you can always just unbuckle it, but let's say you have the strap you know, nice and capped and tight and you wanna take it off or loosen it for some reason, you can only go that far. It's just a small thing. Um, Otherwise, you know, it does okay. It can slip off relatively easily compared to something that was just like, you know, permanently attached. And you are left with a bit of a dangly, dangliness at the end here. So you just wanted to note that. The buckle's Wujin, it's big. We have no issues with it so far. Um, it's got that kind of unique V-shaped design, which is cool. And yeah, it works for taking the bag on and off. So let's get inside of this thing. Now, the zippers don't feel the best. They feel a little bit flimsy. We haven't had any issues so far. They're just not very like confidence inspiring when you grab them. Um, but we'll start with this front zippered pocket. You can kind of see the shape of it here. Um, there is some built-in dimension and actually holds quite a bit. So this, this bag doesn't have a lot of space for smaller things. So we've kind of been using this as a dump pocket so you know right now we've got wallet and keys in there we've been able to put you know like a wallet a little pouch keys you can kind of really jam this up like 
if you can see, there's basically room for a whole nother layers inside here. And while it's good that it can fit a lot of stuff, it's not great that you kind of have to stack it and jam it in. So it makes getting the things underneath slow. So for example, we, you know, had a tin of Altoids mints in here. And then, you know, it was like that was either on top of or below our wallet. So you had to take one out and get the other like fish around it. And the keys sit up here so they can fall in and out like when you're trying to get stuff. And it just becomes a bit of a jumbly mess in there. But it does hold quite a bit of stuff, which, you know, is a bit of a saving grace for it. Right above that pocket, the zipper pocket, you have a little Velcro pocket. So it just secures with a Velcro flap. Again, some decent dimension in here. Um, it is smaller though. So this, this larger pocket at the bottom, you know, like fits a wallet, also will fit a phone. This smaller pocket up top won't. Um, the phone sticks out. We've just been throwing some hand sanitizer in here. And the thing with the Velcro is it, it hasn't come undone or anything. The Velcro feels pretty nice, but it, you know, it leaves these open gaps uh, on each side of the pocket. So smaller things, we're just really not comfortable putting small stuff in here or anything super valuable because if the bag is overturned or you're slinging it around, it's possible it could fall out. Um, so we've just been keeping, you know, kind of bulky but not big items here if that makes sense so you know hand sanitizer you could throw a pair of sunglasses in here that works pretty well and just keep them right there at the top now there are two larger compartments on this bag and they work well for larger things and just pull back this welting which you know helps protect the zipper some which is cool so on one side you have what we consider the main compartment and just got like a packable jacket in here, a little rain jacket, which is a nice thing to carry. And then on the other side, you've got what we've been using is a water bottle pocket. So it's a little bit smaller. This is a 32 ounce trail weight hydro flask and it, it fits pretty much perfectly in this pocket. So the, the trail series bottles are a little taller and a little slimmer than the standard and it fits really well. And the organization, is cool and it works well for for you know bigger items but if you'll notice these two compartments kind of share the same space so here's that main compartment where they had our jacket in and it goes all the way to the end of the bag and then if you can see our hand poking through that's the water bottle pocket so whatever you have in one definitely affects what goes in the other so if you need to carry more stuff maybe you want to have a couple of extra layers or you're bringing lunch and things like that you have to be careful of how you pack it because either you'll be eating away from the water bottle compartment or your water bottle will be eating away from your main compartment. And as long as we've, you know, mostly kept a rain jacket and a water bottle or a water bottle and, you know, maybe it's a small towel and like bathing suit for like a day at the beach sort of thing. And it's worked well for that. Um, but just something to note, like anytime we tried to really jam it full with extra stuff, like, oh, we're going to need this, this, and this, throw it in here, it gets pretty bulky and kind of bulges out because these two share the same space and, you know, you can kind of feel it bulging on your back a little bit. There is some pad, there is a decent amount of padding on the back panel, no frame sheet, but some good padding, but still just the way it packs gets a little bulky. And then finally, inside the main compartment, there is a small zippered pocket. Um, it's a good size for flat items like a passport, extra cash, you know, those things that you want to keep nice and secure. They'll, they will go in here. Again, with the, the bulginess, we wouldn't recommend putting anything too bulbous in here because it, it, it can poke into your back. But it's a nice secured spot for like a passport or some cash, like we said. So there you have it. Uh, this is the Cavu Rope Sling. Make sure to check out packhacker.com for more information and the best buying options. We'll leave links down below, and we'll see you in the next video.